If you're looking for the best beginner bass guitar, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Square Bronco Bass. Square is one of the first names people look to when they are learning guitar or bass, and for good reason. As a licensed sister brand to Fender, each of the models in the Square range delivers a classic Fender playing experience but at a price that makes it accessible to the masses. The Square Bronco is the best beginner's bass guitar you'll find, as it comes in a slightly shorter scale length which is ideal for younger learners. The tone and general build quality is also as good as we've come to expect from the brand, so for the low price there really isn't anything much to complain about here. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Yamaha TRBEX 174EW. Yamaha makes some of the world's best electric guitars for beginners, so it's only natural that it also has a great selection of top beginner bass guitars in and around the sub dollar slash PS200 mark, but here we've opted for the Yamaha TRBEX 174EW. While the name itself may be instantly forgettable, the bass itself is anything but thanks to the choice of tones on offer. These come courtesy of its two pickup options and the overall high level of build quality and reliability you get from Yamaha. The Yamaha TRBEX 174EW comes in three understated finishes and finds that neat balance between being a bass you can learn on yet won't outgrow in a hurry. A solid investment in your short to mid-term playing journey the number 3 position is held by Square Affinity Precision. In the guitar world there is the Stratocaster, and in the bass world we have the famous Precision or P-Bass. The Square Affinity Precision is the entry-level model, yet still features enough quality and a broad enough tonal palette to make this a serious instrument in its own right. We like the 2020-21 color options, including the decision to offer a black pit guard on each, making these beginner bass guitars a far cry from the more basic options of the past. Whichever style of music you play, the Square Affinity Precision will get you started on the right foot. Next at number 4 we have Sterling by Music Man Stingray Rafer. If you're just dabbling in the bass and maybe looking for a cheap and cheerful model to toy around with, then the Sterling Stingray Rafer probably isn't for you. If, however, you're looking for a good quality, reliable instrument that will grow with you as you develop, the Sterling by Music Man Stingray Rafer might just be the best beginner's bass guitar for you. It boasts active electronics which, essentially, give you more options to shape your tone when amplified. This makes the Stingray Rafer ideal for beginners looking to join a band or perform, as you can be sure you'll have a superb, commanding tone wherever you might be playing. The number 5 position is held by Square Affinity Jazz Bass. As arguably the second most famous bass style in the world, the Square Affinity Jazz offers a nice alternative to anyone set on a Fender style but who isn't drawn to the P bass. The Jazz models are more ergonomic, making for a more comfortable playing experience while sat down, yet these ideal beginner bass guitars are still capable of some impressive heft from those two single core pickups. The only downside of the body shape is that you'll need a good stand to store it, trust us, but there's a lot to love about the Jazz bass. Play one and you'll see why so many players are drawn to it. The number 6 position is dominated by Ibanez Geo GSR200. Ibanez is the go-to brand for many rock and metal players. These basses are made for fast, tight playing and the Ibanez Geo GSR200 line is the perfect example of why. It features the trademark live neck ideal for moving up and down the fretboard as your speed develops. We also like the onboard electronics that provide an active bass boost for even more sonic mayhem. There are plenty of different finish options on offer, including some with a gorgeous spalted maple top which shows off the incredible graining of the wood underneath. If you're after a beginner bass guitar that can handle metal and rock and not think twice, this is the best option for you. We'd also recommend checking out our guide to the best metal guitars of all time if you play guitar too. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Epiphone EB0 Beginner Bass Guitar. The Epiphone EB0 was the first electric bass ever produced by the company, and they must have got something right because it went on to become used by some of the biggest artists in the 1960s. The EB0 is a slightly shorter scale than standard, allowing for faster playing and a more welcoming experience for beginner bass guitar players. 
When plugged in, the EB0 is as rich and warm as you'd hope, although we found the neck pickup did make things start to sound a bit muddy when more volume or gain was employed. It's a small criticism though, and overall the Epiphone EB0 is an easy recommendation thanks to its huge playability and cool vintage looks. The number 8 position is held by Jackson Concert JS3. Jackson is another name which is well known in rock and metal circles, and has carved itself a nice niche in this world thanks to a range of instruments designed to encourage speed and precision. The Jackson Concert JS3 is almost the perfect guitar for fans of thrash metal, with its wafer-thin neck and active onboard electronics providing the perfect platform to support all manner of riffs. While there are extra controls on the body to help shape your ideal tone, we would advise perhaps looking elsewhere for folk or pop styles. For metalheads, however, there aren't many better options out there at this price. Next at number 9 we have Square Classic Vibe 60's Jazz Bass. This is the best vintage-inspired bass guitar for beginners, just beating the classic Vibe 60's precision bass to the punch. You wouldn't go wrong with the P-Bass, but the Jazz Bass's dual pickup configuration lends it that extra bit of range. Of course, tone is a matter of taste, but there's no arguments about the classic Vibe's credentials here. The Fender-designed El Nico pickups nail those early jazz tones. Think that mid-range tuniness and bright pop from the bridge pickup and warm, rounded thumb from the neck as well as plenty more tones in between. All in, the classic Vibe Jazz Bass is excellent value. Setting aside the odd niggle with the finish, this is an excellent build right down to the period-inspired logo on the headstock and the tinted neck lacquer that makes it look as though it is just off a hundred show run at a smoky dive bar. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Ibanez Mezzo SRMD200. The Mezzo positions itself somewhere between the long-scale 34 bases and the short-scale bases of 30 and under. Is it a happy medium? It's hard to argue it isn't. The body shape is nicely contoured and fits snug against the body, and the 32 scale makes it feel a little more grown up than the micro. As a downsized addition to Ibanez's superlative sound your lineup, you can consider playability a given. The Mezzo's neck is shorter than its Soundjar siblings but has the same width and profile, and it will flatter those of us working our way toward busy, show-stopping bass lines. The tone shoots for a classic active P-bass voice, with the single call slash split call configuration well exploited by the active 2-band EQ and balance control. Whether you are a slap-happy funkster, a burgeoning jazz fusion futurist, or simply a rocker holding it down in the pocket, the Mezzo has you covered. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.